So you've got your Quest 2 and you're wondering if there's more to Quest 2 life. Well, it's time for Side Quest. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron and today I'm finally getting around to making my own side quest tutorial video as I've been holding off to do it until I had the quest too. So once we have side quest installed I'm then going to go over how to get virtual desktop working for PC VR. If you're new to the channel and you can't get enough of that quest 2 and VR content hit the subscribe button to become part of an amazing VR community. You can leave whenever you want. Now, although I'm uploading this on Friday, it's actually Wednesday, same t-shirt, as I film this back to back with my last video, Matrix 2 and 3 style. Hopefully I won't forget how to act like my character from one video to the next. <laughs> And the reason for that is because we're having a Friday night get together in Rec Room and maybe some other games to celebrate Questmas. So come along, we'll be starting soon after this video goes live and watch out for the live stream if I can get it working. So let's jump in with the installing, in we go. So here we have SideQuest, which is a program that you'll install on your PC, Mac or Linux computer. You can get all sorts of amazing games and programs here, including my personal favourite shooters, Pavlov Shack and Hyperdash. The programs here are generally either pre-release demos or programs that for whatever reason couldn't get onto the Oculus Store. I'm not sure how long SideQuest will be going in this form because eventually it will be merging with the Oculus Store and at that point you won't have to do all of this to get it working. It's also worth mentioning that you do not need a powerful PC to use SideQuest, so you can do it on a cheap laptop if you want, and you also don't need the computer once you've installed your programs. So the first thing you need to do is enable developer mode on your Quest. To do this, you need to register as a developer, and don't worry if you aren't really a developer, you're just pretending and it's absolutely okay. So visit dashboard.oculus.com forward slash organizations forward slash create the links for that will be below and enter the name of your organization once you've logged in once you've done that you can enable developer mode on your headset to do this open the oculus app on your phone with your quest turned on tap settings on the bottom right find your oculus quest and make sure it stays connected ensure that your phone and the quest have all got wi-fi turned on and that your phone has bluetooth on too Tap the arrow button next to the device to reveal more options. Tap the More Settings button, select Developer Mode and turn the switch on. Reboot your Quest so that it restarts in Developer Mode. Now go to the SideQuest Downloads page at sidequestvr.com forward slash download and download SideQuest. Now load up SideQuest on your computer and plug in your Quest. You don't need any special USB cable for this. Anything that connects the Quest to the computer is going to be fine. Once you do this, you'll see a request inside the Quest to allow USB debugging. Tick the Always Allow from this computer box so you don't have to do it every time and press OK. If for whatever reason you can't see it, it could be asking you to enable Oculus Link. So unplug it, plug it in again and try and get in there quickly. And that's it. Go back to SideQuest on your computer, choose which programs you want to install, and to play them, choose unknown sources, and there they'll all be. Now to get that lovely wireless PC VR going, you'll need virtual desktop. So go to the Oculus Store in your Quest or your phone app and buy it, download it, and then head over to SideQuest to get the patch. Install that. You also need a virtual desktop streamer app on your computer, so head on to www.vrdesktop.net and download the streamer app. In the streamer app, you need to set your Oculus account name and there's a various other settings that you can play with too. Now, when you load SideQuest, you'll have the option of choosing VR games and playing them through a wireless connection instead of Link. I highly recommend a 5G router and that you're pretty close to it when you're playing. You'll want the connection to say 866 Mbps and if it does, you'll be getting great performance. You don't need amazing internet to do this. Ideally, you'll have the computer wired to the router and then the Quest connected to that same router with a 5G connection. This actually works in my shed too, where the router is connected to a power line adapter. And that's it. Enjoy the awesomeness of Wire 3 PC VR. Trust me, you can't go back to Link once you've tried it. So there we go. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or your own Quest tips to share, then let's hear them down below in the comments. Remember, if you want to stick around for the VR talk for advice or to help me help others, then don't forget to subscribe. There's links everywhere. So I've been Al. Thanks for watching the VR Cauldron. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time or maybe just after this video. See ya. When I'm upside down.